Okay, let's go on to the next one. This one says, Muhammad bin Zayed reduced the influence of his brothers. Now, this is a shocker and this seems it, it was an old article. Uh, it was in July 2022nd. So, I just found it now. So, what it says is, informed sources have revealed Emirati President Muhammad bin Zayed has reduced his brother's influence to keep them away from power in favor of his eldest son, Khalid. Now, this is very common. It happened in Saudi. Uh, you remember in Rich Carlton, they kept all the rich guys, they kept other ministers, and that's how Mohammed bin Salman came into power. This is very common in the Gulf countries, especially when they have many, many sons and many, many wives. In fact, Sheikh Zayed was rumored, rumored, I don't know for a fact, he had 99 wives or uh, I don't know how many were legally married. And along with them, no, 99 wives or 99 sons. Uh, 99 sons, I can't remember. But one thing I do know for a fact, they had many concubines, they had many girls. and They were literally being supplied with girls almost every single day. Uh, how do I know this? Well, I won't give the name of the sheikh or who it is. I, obviously, for whatever reason, they would literally book a aircraft with women, filled with women. Uh, the female, the female who was doing this was actually a pimp and she would go with a minister, a guy who was appointed. But this guy was a good guy. He was not a bad guy. But, you know, when the sheikh has his, you know, pleasure trips or his temptations or his likes, you can't say no to them. They would actually book an entire aircraft. Just imagine an entire aircraft filled with girls from Turkey, Pakistan, uh, different, different countries. As far as I know, I've, I've seen, I've, with my own eyes, I've seen girls in, from Turkey, Girls from Pakistan, really beautiful. Huh? And uh, one of the sheikhs, when I was a DJ, uh, I, I was a DJ. So this is not I heard from someone. These, uh, you know, all the VIPs were there and I was DJing and they had the swimming pool and all that. Unbelievable. This guy, this billionaire, below the pool had a nightclub. And when I went there to see the nightclub, the discotheque, the ceiling would open up and you can see like a glass and... You can see people swimming there. It was unbelievable. I This is like a James Bond movie. And, you know, you know, I was looking at all this. I was like, wow, bloody hell, this is crazy. And then, you know, two, three black limousines came there. And out of this limousine, all these hot, amazing, beautiful women in the age group of 18 to 20 or whatever, really, really hot, really beautiful. And they were with the guests. Each guest, VIP guest, could take two, three girls and they were meant for the guest. Um, you know, one of the girls who was left there, she was attractive and she sat down uh, where I was sitting and she was talking to me. You know, in those days, I was a good-looking guy, no tattoos and all that. And I asked her, where is she from? Turkey and all that. I said, how old are you? 20. And she's like, what do you do? You're a DJ. And, and uh, you know, I was shocked. I mean, an intelligent girl, not dumb, beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Ooh, big ones. Okay. And, uh, uh, you know, obviously, I can't ask her, like, what are you doing here? Because it's obvious, what is she doing here? So, the point I'm trying to say is, all these things happen. In fact, uh, uh, Khalifa, who is no more, uh, it seems that he had uh, this island or someplace, and one of the Pakistani guys was working in that area for some construction work. He was telling me, they have jet skis, they have girls, topless completely topless and rowing, uh, going around and obviously it's no cameras and all that. It's high security. So he's saying, I never saw so many ladies going half naked or whatever. And each VIP has enough and more women. So everyone knows this, but nobody talks about it. In a, if you have any doubts, just Google search Porta Parties, Porta Parties, which is nothing new. It's a very old story. But, you know, once a while people come out with this and they say, oh, wow, shocking news. People who have been like me in UAE many years know this is the part of what goes on. And remember, where there is money, where there is power, all this happens. Okay, so the sources uh, told Emirates leaks that for years, Mohammed bin Zayed arranged for his assumption of power and gradual escalation of his eldest son, Khalid, to succeed him. Now, I do not know how his son looks like Khalid. If anyone of you has a link or something, just send it to me so that I can have a look. But I hope he becomes a good leader. Anyway, so according to sources, Mohammed bin Zayed's plans were based in essence of reducing the influence of his brothers, which is obvious. Uh, Tanun, Haza and Mansoor. Hmm. 
these may be his brothers i do not know you can tell me if any of you you know know the royal family uh, just send me a private email you know confidentially so that i'm not going to obviously this thing this is just for my own education because i never heard of these names thanun alzaid haza alzaid mansur alzaid during the term of his throne as they were the most potent competitors to his son khalid in power khalid is pronounced kh you know not khalid okay <laughs> according to sources mohammed bin zaid decided to expel haza and mansur not faza that is sheikh mohammed son from the covenant mandate by distorting the image with illegal acts of money laundering really hmm. that is shocking i don't think so but anyway i'm reading the report so this is what they say as for tanun mohammed bin zaid prepared a documented criminal prosecution case locally and internationally related to war crimes murder torture and arrest outside the scope of local and international laws bloody hell now here i'm giving you my opinion i don't think i can be wrong i don't think mohammed bin zaid has to do that mohammed bin zaid can you know change some policies and laws and all that he doesn't have to actually hurt and harm his brothers but then again this is what they say i'm giving you my opinion this is what they are saying because i don't think it has to be so ugly and always remember when you you know when you start fighting in fighting between your own family members then you become weaker so better you keep them happy so anyway this is what they are saying okay uh, mohammed bin zaid had earlier assigned tanun to carry out these crimes indirectly now do they ask him to do stuff that may be not so legal i wouldn't say illegal not so legal yes obviously but would they ask any of the brothers all that i doubt because why should they ask a brother to risk their neck rather they would say you had this operation you do this like for example uh, bihar shetty's empire uh, or the sheikhs or the guys who represent the board before bihar shetty when he was in power it was actually owned by the sheikhs but the front men would be visionary ceos young guys but if you google search them you would never find anything why because they have been appointed as dummies right in front but the actual owner was a sheikh and uh, that is why if you check their past records there is nothing like if you check for example any ceo of a company whether it's elon musk or satya nadella or what is his name sundar pichai they have a history but these guys they just came young guys from nowhere that is why if you see most of the heads of governments in uae they are very young and very good looking and all that it's because they have just been placed as dummies the actual work somebody else who's aged or who's an expat below them in fact do you know that for the palm island for nakil imar and all that the people who are the real brains are actually indians emirates airlines i actually met this guy who was the right hand guy of the sheik i met him i personally i issued him a credit card one of the most powerful guys one of the most powerful guys but he was never in the limelight and how i know that is because i was asked to issue him a cre- a credit card man the minute he gave his documents like you know obviously me being an employee uh, i had to ask him for a salary certificate he's like do you know who i am he asked me this huh i said you know i was a young guy in my 20s i said sir i don't know just tell your bank manager give him my card he gave me his card huh? he didn't give me a salary certificate nothing just give my card tell him i want the i want the credit card others forget it i took the card i gave it to my sales manager in my life i never saw the salesman stand up immediately he went to the director's office that guy stood up immediately he went uh, and i'll tell you this is the only client who i knew who is indian who without any document without any verification was issued a card that also the you know gold card but with no limits nothing because he was a right hand guy for the sheikh but to this date he's never shown anywhere he was the brains who started emirates airlines when it was from scratch old man old man and i had the honor of meeting him anyway but one thing i did know that uh, uh, he wouldn't you know when i asked him sorry said he said do you know who i am i'll tell you the way he said it i was like uh, okay and my entire management team and you know all of them i never seen them so nervous he was issued a card which normally it used to take two weeks i think it was given in two three days with no verification because he was that powerful anyway that's another story there are many such stories which i don't share okay or i don't remember also because there's so many okay so last month before the announcement and the death of former 
President Khalifa bin Zayed, Tanun knew about this secret file that condemned him and prevented him from assuming the throne. Hmm, too much drama. He had received information before that, after which he made gradual radical changes in the army's leadership and security after he bought their loyalty and found the weaknesses of those leaders, creating criminal and immoral cases for the each one to tighten his grip on them. Okay. Um, don't mind the language translation because I told you it's from Arabic to French or French to Arabic to English. Okay. What I feel here is there was maybe, maybe I'm assuming like, a, you know, a battle between the family members, a power struggle. So obviously when the head, the main father is about to die, the other sons would want to fight. So maybe he tried to take you know, seize power. In fact, do you remember there was this news about there was some bombing or some explosion in Abu Dhabi and all that and uh, then the drones and all that drama and stories. So there's a lot of stuff that they don't put in the news because they don't want controversy to spread. So is there an element of reality to this? Possibly. Like for example, Sheikh Mohammed's daughter who is... Uh, who they were saying was drugged and all that and now we don't hear any news. Is there an element of reality? There could be. Remember, there's no smoke without fire. But having said that, I've given you my opinions on that. I think Sheikh Mohammed, as a father, he's right in whatever he's doing. He's a father. And that girl, you know, that princess, whatever her name is, I can't get her name. Laila? Okay. Um, Haya. Haya? I'm not too sure. Uh... She didn't look very normal. She had made that video when she ran away from home and she ran away, you know, in the Indian Ocean and they picked her up like this. Because Sheikh Mohammed is a very powerful man. You can't touch him. Anyway. Okay. In the midst of this conflict, Mohammed bin Zayed assigned the task of loyalty of getting closer to Israel, to his son Khalid, to support him in appropriate ways for the mandate of the covenant. The investment for this justification was $10 billion that were pumped into Israeli banks. So obviously, when you have money, the country supports you. That's why Israel and UAE are very closey close. And USA also. Mohammed bin Zayed still fears his brother Tanun. Hmm, that's strange. Okay, even though he made him the most important person to hand over the operation of his hands to oppression of many, eyes of many. So don't mind the translation. Okay, let me read this. Mohammed bin Zayed fears his brother Tanun, even though he made him the most important person. Okay. So he fears him. If any one of you know who's this Tanun character, just send me a link. I need to read about him. Maybe I'll do some research. Okay. Mohammed bin Zayed asked one of his advisors to develop a plan to end Tanun's uh, kind of reign, even if the final solution was physically assassinating him. Eee! Too much of drama. Oh, I'll put the link below. You can read it if you don't believe me. But be careful. Remember, they'll track you. Okay. After some time, the news and plans were leaked. Fatima al Ketbi, the mother of Mohammed bin Zayed, I'll Google search this, is she the mother, immediately intervened and warned him against committing any reckless or insane act against his brothers. Yeah, why do you want to fight, man? Be nice. Okay. Those recent developments prompted Mohammed bin Zayed to postpone resolving the issue of the mandate. On the other hand, the insistence of the insistence of the brother, the most prominent who is Tanun, and their pressure whether on the mother or indirectly on Mohammed bin Salman to name the crown prince among his brothers is still prevalent. Okay. Power and money and corruption. Ah, it's always, it corrupts people. Okay. For this reason, the most critical forces that Mohammed bin Zayed relied to secure his installation and fear of a move against him were special foreign forces, notably the elements of American Blackwater and others from Israel. Anyway, this was slightly old news. So I think Mohammed bin Zayed is established. I don't think any such problem will happen right now. Maybe it could have happened before. And remember, uh, it's always been the case with uh, big powerful Arab families. When the head goes, you know, they might be infighting. So there's always a planned ascension. Mohammed bin Zayed assigned officers from Israel to run UAE army and security to prevent any rebellion or coup that might occur against him. Something Israel exploited for its strategic interest in the UAE region. Okay, is this true? Is this false? This is a big question. But like they say, there's no smoke without fire. But having said that, this was a major shocking news for me at least. You can tell me if you know anything better. And yes, just be careful because this is high level stuff. So if you're sending me an email, send it privately, confidentially, use VPN or ask somebody else to send. And um, 
do keep me you know in the loop having said that this is me signing off you guys take care it was nice sharing some information with you bye